It is with great sadness that we announce the passing of Todd Boucher on December 29th. Todd was a longtime employee at WTAP who helped inform the Mid-Ohio Valley for 41 years. Todd had been living in Lancaster, Ohio, enjoying his retirement when he passed away. Our Phyllis Smith looks back at the impact he had on the Mid-Ohio Valley. I always wanted to do this. When there was a big news story in the Mid-Ohio Valley, chances are you would probably see Todd Boucher covering it. Todd could cover any news story that was assigned to him, whether it was an explosion, a presidential visit, or Groundhog Day. Sonic, did you see it? Todd worked many holidays and all kinds of different shifts throughout his career, whether it was getting up at 2.30 in the morning to anchor a morning newscast or reporting at the station until 11 o'clock at night for election coverage. Many different personalities came through the newsroom as the years went by, and Todd worked alongside all of them, offering his wealth of knowledge to new journalists learning about the area. When you're working in a local uh, station in a small market. Uh, it, you, you almost have to be, I hate to say an expert because uh, nobody's an expert on everything, but uh, you have to know a lot about everything to, to do this job. Todd earned the respect of officials he interviewed. He was given a Spirit of Wood County Award by the Wood County Commission on his 40th anniversary. West Virginia's governor congratulated Todd on his retirement in December 2021. So I congratulate you on your retirement. I wish you the very, very best. I hope, I hope and pray that it's just absolutely great beyond belief, and, uh, but we'll miss you. Todd won other awards throughout his time at WTAP for his news coverage. He earned a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Associated Press of the Virginias in 2014 and was inducted into the Ohio Associated Press Media Editors Hall of Fame in 2022. He had this to say after getting the award in Ohio. If only Joe Burrow had gotten a little more protection from the Bengals offensive line this past year, this might be the second biggest thing that has happened to me so far in 2020. Todd, as you can see, was a big fan of the Cincinnati Bengals and the Cleveland Guardians and was extremely proud to be an Ohio Bobcat as an alumnus of OU. The Mary Tyler Moore Show was his favorite TV show and Aerosmith was his favorite band. Even after Todd retired, he would email the newsroom with story ideas and news tips. He played a huge role in WTAP's 70th anniversary special that aired this year with his expertise about the history of the station. Todd, all of us at WTAP, thank you for your service. May you rest in peace. That was Phyllis Smith reporting. WTAP would also like to wish Todd's family condolences.